Hey, it's Candace, and in today's QuickBooks Tips and Tricks, I want to teach you guys what to do if you're paying expenses with cash. I received a question on that, on this this week. There's a couple things to think about. So as always, it's not always clear cut with accounting because there's a couple different factors. So one of the factors is what are where's the cash coming from? So I'm going to go into the chart of accounts and we're going to talk about this a little bit because I want to give you, if you don't notice in my tips and tricks, I actually like to give you a little bit of understanding of why you're doing it versus just do this because there's a couple different ways to handle it. So if you are using cash, say your business has a petty cash drawer and you take cash out of deposits or write a check, get cash and put it in a drawer. You're going to want to create a petty cash bank account. And then you're going to go in and as you use the cash, you're actually going to enter them as expenses, just like you would do out of a normal bank account. So you'd pick the date, you know, you are going to put cash in here and then wherever you spent the money, let's say Exxon again. So they went and bought fuel. You gave your employee $20 to go get fuel for the company vehicle. You'd put Exxon $20 and you'd code it to fuel and then you could put a memo if you wanted. If you if they were going to the office supply store, you could give them off, you know, they went to Office Depot and then you'd do office supplies. If it was $20 or, you know, whatever it is, if it's $19 and 36 cents, you'd put that in. So that's one option of how you would handle it. Now, another option is let's say that the owner of the company took their own personal cash and paid for something. What you would do in that example is then you would go in and you'd actually do a journal entry. The You'd pick the date that they paid it. There's two ways to do it. One way you can do it is you can do each individual transaction or you can put them all together, create an Excel spreadsheet, categorize it by type of expense and summarize it every month. Here's an example of a spreadsheet you can create quickly. I just wanted to show this to you guys. You can do vendor and then the places where you spent cash. So you could either do this per day if you have a lot of cash transactions or per month, you would create, customize it to you. But this is just an example. You'd have your vendor, where you spent the money, the date that you spent it, what category of expense it went to. And then you, I recommend totaling it at the bottom and then a total so you know the other side what they should it should total all together create something like that as always there's always lots of ways to do it but what you could do is you would do office supplies you know $23.98 and then you'd put a memo in for what that was for fuel 20 bucks and then if the owner's paying for all that out of their own personal it would be owner contribution would be the other side so the debit is the expense the credit would be the owner contribution. Now, if they want to get paid back, another option, if they want a reimbursement check, is you could actually just write them a check to their name. So we'll do it as if it was me. Candace Camfer, let's say $120 is what I was getting reimbursed for. Then I go down here and say I, I spent $40 on fuel, office supplies. So whatever the expenses are, you'd put them here. $23. You're going to add it up and you're going to go through and, and say they want to get reimbursed. Um, once a month or however often, then you're just going to code it that way. So I hope this answered your question. There's a few different ways. If you're a business, you're paying the expenses. Remember, you're going to want to go into your chart of accounts, add a bank account. You're going to go into that petty cash account. You're going to enter your expenses that way as you spend them. Or if you're an owner, you don't want to be reimbursed. You do a journal entry. You want to be re reimbursed. You can write a check. So I hope this has been beneficial. If you have any other questions, feel free to comment below. If you enjoy my tips and tricks, feel free to subscribe, like this video. And if you want to receive them in your inbox, I'm actually doing my tips and tricks every other week because I'm adding inspirational insights to my channel soon. Feel free to go up to the I and enter your name and email to either get inspirational insights or if you want to get them in your inbox, these tips and tricks, feel free. I will talk to you guys again soon. Have an amazing day. Take care. Bye-bye.